Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to make this really great background using uh, watercolor markers and using some shimmer spritz from Sukuniko. I'm going to start with this large background stamp that I have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the markers as my ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to color this flower, and I'm just going to do one flower because you don't want to sit here and watch me color this whole thing in. So I'm going to just choose this solid flower, and I'm going to take the brush tip, and I'm just going to go in and I am going to color right directly onto the rubber. I'm just going to work my way around. This is a really great technique. Uh, I love doing this. It just watercolor is so hot right now and I think this kind of has a watercolor look to it and with using the shimmer spritz we're going to get this really pretty sheen on our image so there we go I've done the yellow and now I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to add a second color I'm going to add some orange to add some interest so what I'm going to do to add the oranges I'm going to start at the center of the flower and I'm just going to gently use some flicking strokes up towards the outside of the flower. That way the center of the flower has the darker amount of color. And I'm just going to keep turning my stamp. And you can see I keep turning my stamp because it's easier for me to reach and to color the right direction. Okay, so now that I've got my image colored, normally what I would do is I would huff on this image, meaning I would put a breath of hot air, or I would mist some water. But as I was creating the other day, I thought, well, I have this really pretty sheer uh, shimmer mist from Sukuniko, and it's called Frost, and it's just got this really soft, nice color, and I thought, I wonder if that would work for me doing this technique, and sure enough, it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my markers out of the way here, and I'm going to bring in... I have this box right here, and what this is, is, and you can see it's loved, is it's a place to spray things without covering your workspace, because if you're going to spray something, you need to cover things. So I'm going to set my stamp in here, and I'm going to give my shimmer spritz just a bit of spray here, and I'm going to probably do two, and I'm going to hold it higher up above my stamp so that I get a nice gentle coat. Now remember, if you were doing this, you would have colored the entire block, but this time I'm just going to do this one image for the sake of video and quick. So I'm just going to do two quick mists, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the stamp out of here, and I'm going to take my cardstock. Now there's two ways you can do this if you want. You can go ahead and just put your cardstock right on top and gently push it in place, or you can flip your stamp over, whatever works easier for you. Today I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to gently lay my cardstock in there, and I'm just going to gently... Now if I had this whole thing, I'd go all the way around, but I just have this flower. So then I'm going to flip it over, and there you see I have my flower. Now you can see I didn't push enough in that one spot. But if you have the whole thing covered, you can do that. So here we go. Here's my actual final result. And you can see how neat that is. And the other thing is, is that you hopefully you could see that. You get this beautiful sheen from the sparkle inside that sheer shimmer mist. And I was just curious when I did it. This is my first stamp. I missed it again and stamped a second time. So now I've gotten two stamped images from just one round of coloring. So there you go. A great way to use your watercolor markers and some shimmer spray, and a large background stamp. Have fun creating!